Hello everybody, welcome to another interview. Today we have a special edition interview for you today. We have the drummer for Weird Al Yankovic, Mr. John Bermuda Schwartz. How you doing, John? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? Okay, I'm doing pretty good. So, um, you've been with Al for a long time now. Uh, 32 years, is it? Uh, September is 32 years and uh, 32 great years. Okay. Well, that's good. That's that's kind of a milestone for somebody like you, and then because I mean, not many bands, even bands, don't even last that long sometimes. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, how how exactly did you get started in um, drumming? I mean, was that just something you've always wanted to do, or um, did did your mom and dad uh, influence you in any way on music, or how exactly did that come about? Well, I, I came from a fairly musical family. Everyone did something. Uh, as I was growing up, my brother had drums. And he switched to guitar at some point, so I inherited the drums and uh, started taking drum lessons. That was 1965. Now, earlier that year, or maybe the year before, I actually took accordion lessons and uh, didn't do too too great with that. Uh, I suppose if I did, we'd be here about weird Bermuda Schwartz instead. But uh, I've been playing drums for, uh, well, most of my life. Well, I guess if you uh, had done the accordion, I guess you and Al could always do duo uh, duets together. I guess because he plays the accordion too. <laughs> well, you know, it's honestly, I, if I'd gone the accordion route, I probably never would have met him. I'd probably be admiring him from afar, saying, <laughs> uh, "I should have done that." Yeah, if I was smarter and funnier. I would have done that. You know? Right, that that is true. Um, let me see. Now you've um, you've got some side projects as well. I know because it's on your website. It said you have a couple other bands you're also associated with. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about them? <laughs> well, I've I've always played with other bands uh, in L.A. Uh, where I live. Uh, currently, I'm I'm in uh, three or four or maybe five bands. I'm never sure at a given time. Uh, probably this, my longest standing band has been with Rip Masters, R A P Masters, mm -hmm. uh, and he does uh, rockabilly, roots rock, country. Uh, some great stuff. I've been with him uh, since 1981, so almost as long as Al. I mm. uh, play with a band called the Zero G Band. Zero G meaning zero gravity. The leader of the band is an airline pilot and what? also has a strong Air Force background, so Zero G. And we just do we do uh, classic and contemporary covers, uh, play uh, locally. It's one gig a month. That's all we want to do, and it's great fun. Love playing with them. I uh, play with Idle Hands, which is kind of an electric uh, rock blues band. Uh, been with them in one incarnation or another since about 99. And um, also playing uh, with Crown City Bombers, uh, who do uh, rockabilly and, and uh, old rock and roll. As uh, a gal singer up front who's great, does uh, does some old Patsy Cline and uh, uh, Brenda Lee and, and all the rest of those type things, rockers. Uh, play with a group once in a while called Choice, uh, classic rock, some originals. Uh, I play with a group called uh, the Silver Beat. Now that includes members of the Rolling Clones. Rolling Clones were one of the original Rolling Stones tribute bands from like 30 years ago, right. and they're still at it. Now, I don't play with the Rolling Clones, but I play with the two leaders of that in their side project. And we do uh, old Beatles and Hermits, Hermits and Animals and Kinks and and stuff like that. It's great fun, great fun. Well, that's good. Um, and uh, for those of you uh, that are watching this, you probably didn't know, but uh, John was actually a um, sit-in drummer for once for a band called Apologetics. That's uh, A P O L O G E T I X, and they're the Christian weirdo. What they do is they take songs like from the Beatles, the Monkees, Garth Brooks, whatever, and they change their lyrics to Christian lyrics, kind of like the way Weird Al does everything to other songs. And uh, I know you sat in with uh, Fred Behenna on the album uh, Biblical Graffiti, yep. and as a matter of fact, it was the Garth Brooks parody uh, "Friends in Low Places." Uh, been to little places and um, and uh, how was a how was a uh, how was it working with uh, Jay Jackson and the Apologetics crew there? <laughs> well, those those guys were great. I didn't actually play on that song on there, but uh, I did. Okay, I, I thought did. I thought it said somewhere that that was you that played on that track. I guess uh, I was missing for obviously. <laughs> uh, or well, it's been a few years. So we did that back in 1999. It's funny how that came about. You know, we sort of we knew who each other were and and. Uh, you know, we'd been in email contact a bit, and I said, you know, if I'm ever in Pittsburgh, where they're based, uh, with a day off, and you guys happen to be in the studio, I'd love to come and do some recording. Well, in 1999, in the summer, uh, we were in Pittsburgh, we had a day off, they were in the studio, so they picked me up in the morning, went and had breakfast, uh, went into the studio, cut seven, eight, nine songs, and uh, all but one actually ended up on the record. And uh, uh, great fun. And you know what, Jay and the guys were just... 
uh, were really nice and really sweet and just uh you know they had a the, the other drummer uh, let me use his drums i mean it was just really it was very cool it was a great day i had, I had a great time i'm really proud of the work i did with them yeah at the time i think the drummer's name was fred behenna and uh, that's right yeah fred and I guess he did He did some other bands, I guess, too, as well as Apologetics, I guess. So um, I guess he retired from that. Uh, I've been really close with the band myself. I even made a, uh, a fan site. I was the first one to ever make a fan site of Apologetics. And and, ever, and some other people liked it so much that they started making fan sites. So you can see fan sites all over the place. But if one for me, though, nobody else would have done it. And Jay Jackson was actually impressed that I did that for him. He was actually honored. So, But I don't have that site anymore. Some problems uh. happened. And... Um, but um, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, I think that's just about everything I need to ask you. And um, I, okay. uh, I I do appreciate you coming by. And uh, you know, if, if you ever want to come by again, you know, and, and chat with us, I mean, uh, you know, especially if you want to plug the next album that Al has or whatever, uh, we'll be glad to have you back, and uh, you can chat with us again. So all right, sounds good. Thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you very much.